You got three days of detention? What did you do, Smooth? Did you spitwad the teacher? Did you call Sally an idiot? Did you throw a dodgeball at Tina's head? Dude, psychotics, there is. It's called Sailor Moon and the Seven Balls, and there's also a Sailor Moon and the Seven Balls too. And the only reason I know about that is because I go to this place in Japantown that sells a whole bunch of anime DVDs and memorabilia, and uh, in the very back room they have like all the raunchy anime porn, and I was looking through there and I was like, oh my god, they have all these. And sure enough, Look at that. They have both copies on special edition DVD for like 15 bucks each. And I was like, I'm half tempted to buy these just for the sake of saying, yes, I own this. And it's absolutely terrible. Dude, psychotic, straight up. It's a real thing. All right, let's get moving with this run. So we're finally gonna start getting into the uh, into the actual route here as I get through here. The only downside is that I'm gonna have to be really strict on coins and I can't get any random encounters. And if I do, I can't lose any of the coins. So my hope is that I can get through this all right. So we'll find out. My back. My back is absolutely killing me right now. It's pretty bad. I need to get a better chair at some point. Someday. Alright, so here's the fun part about this run, is that right now, I'm gonna win this fight even though I'm in peril. What's funny about these fights is that they're optimized to a point where if you just follow what's said on the actual route and if you can pull it off, it's a really, really fun and easy and not very stressful at all run. I love it. They were smoking weed and your teacher thought it was a skunk. A plus teacher. A plus. I've had teachers like that, though. Teachers that just don't give a damn. I threw a rock during recess. Dude, no. In uh, second grade... No, what, what year was that? That was... That was first grade. In first grade, there was a kid who lived down the street from me named Donovan, and he had a sister named Samantha, and Samantha was this big chick who was an absolute bitch to my entire family. Like, she hated our guts because of my brother, and, you know, rightfully so, but hate my brother, not us. So anyways, she hated, hated, hated my brother, and so she would torment me and my siblings during recess, and one day, she threw a fucking red ball as hard as she could at my face, and then decided, okay, cool, that's a great thing to do, and then went to a yard duty and said, I threw it at her, and I got suspended for it. So there was one time in my seventh- hold on. So there was one time in my seventh grade homeroom where we were having a Halloween party with costumes, and this kid was all dressed up as Freddy Krueger, sharp things and all, and had a whole bunch of ketchup packets squeezed all over him. Well, he ended up accidentally cutting his leg open on a metal part of a desk, and he ended up passing out because everyone thought it was a joke because of the ketchup, but he passed out from blood loss. Shit! That's bad, dude. That's super bad. Oh my goodness. That's absolutely fucking nightmarish, dude. Wow. Ooh. That just sounds... Ooh. Goodness, that just sounds painful. Freedom to put their head in the backpack and blue smoke in that. Wow. Ah. 
My friend and I threw Yu-Gi-Oh cards around. Dude, I remember when Yu-Gi-Oh was super big. Back in my middle school, Yu-Gi-Oh cards were actually banned for the longest time. And it was funny, though, because everybody, like, the librarian was like, you can play your card games up here, I don't mind. So we would all go into the library to play the games. And then all the, all of a sudden one day, like, three of the yard duties came in, and we were like, oh, shit, like, we're busted. And the yard duties roll up to us, and we're all sitting around these tables playing Yu-Gi-Oh and shit. And sure enough, who comes rolling up but the yard duties, and they look at all of us, and they kind of go, what are you guys doing in here? And we're just like, uh, and they're just like, Okay, and they all pull out fucking decks. Turn out, all three of these yard duties were actually Yu-Gi-Oh players. Like, they actually liked the game enough to play it. And so they just walked in, and from then on, the yard duties wouldn't actually, like, rat on anybody who had Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and it became allowed in the library. So, shout-outs to those cool yard duties. The cool security in middle school. Welcome back, quad. Welcome back, my friend. Beyblades were banned the day after I finally got one? Wow. That's crappy, dude. Ha! Oh, no. I had an incident in middle school where I actually got uh, suspended for selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And what happened was I was selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards on campus because I had a kid steal a Winged Dragon of Raw from me. And it was a legit Winged Dragon of Raw. And I love this card to death. And I had just gotten it. And this little asshole, like, takes it, snatches it out of my hand, and runs at, like, fastest possible pace in the world. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. This kid just jacked the card right out of my hand. So, at this point, I've lost all interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because this card that I had been longing to get for a long time, I finally had it, and now it was gone. So, I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I started selling my cards, and I made a shit ton of money doing it. And what ended up happening was, is I got caught by a security one guard one day selling the last of my cards for like 60 bucks. And so, I finished the transaction, and he's like, what were you doing? And I'm like, nothing. And he's like, were you selling stuff? And I was like, yes... And they're just like, what were you selling? I'm like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And they're like, you can't sell our stuff on campus. And da 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 get up to the principal's office. And I'm like, okay. So I get called up there. And the principal uh, calls my dad. And my dad comes over. My dad's fucking furious. And uh, they're just like, your son was caught extorting other students by selling contraband on campus. And that's disallowed. So we're going to be suspending him for five days. And da 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 And my dad got really pissed when he heard contraband. Because he's like, what were you selling, Zach? And I'm just like, I was. And she's just like... He was selling stuff that wasn't supposed to be on campus, and so I got suspended. And we get into the car, and my dad's like, what were you selling? And I'm like, Dad, I was selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And he's like, what? I'm like, I was selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And he goes, oh, well, how much did you make? And I was like, about 660 bucks. And he goes, oh, don't get caught next time. And I'm like, <laughs> brilliant example, Father. Thank you. A+. plus. I got suspended for the dumbest shit. I also had a really nice market, though, with the student store. What I did is I would always walk in with 10 bucks. And I would, uh... By walking in with that 10 bucks, I could get hella candy. And then I could resell it once the student store closed halfway through lunch at a premium. And so I always made a profit. And it was great. And I loved life. Wow. Really, Captain? Your parents wouldn't let you watch Rugrats. That sounds pretty awful. I made 660 bucks selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards in middle school, which was in 2005, 2006. Um, my dad's not chill per se, but like he knows a good business venture when he sees it. And so when he sees entrepreneurial shit like that, and I use that term very loosely, but basically when he sees people who are able to make a profit doing something like that, he's not going to condemn it because he's like, yeah, absolutely do it. Uh, no Strider right now, I'm just trying to get a run going, and if I can get a run going, I'm going to do Old Root because I'm not doing a serious run tonight. Fi-Fi rated the shit out of me, so I just want to do something for you guys, even though I'm like absolutely rip-tired, dude. Like, I'm, I'm so tired, but Fi-Fi and everybody just absolutely fucking I, I they were amazing today so i want to try and stream for as long as my body will allow it so that's why i'm shirtless that's why i'm here streaming this really 
My best school story was at the time I had an elevator pass for a broken foot while my school had ID, so I wrapped my ID around my wrist. But one teacher always got on my case about it. Uh, so one day I looked up the rule and found I, uh, so one day I, let's see, so one day I looked up the rule and found out I was still on the right, so I talked back to his ass of a teacher, and he sends me down to the principal, and I presented my case and didn't get in trouble. Good! Absolutely good. Yes, I did, dude. Of course I updated it. Why wouldn't I have updated it? Silly. Dude, Fi Fi, if you're here, show yourself now so people can follow you, because you're amazing. Like, Fi Fi is incredible, guys. You will love Fi Fi. And I apologize if I can't get a run going and it dies on something dumb, um, if at all, just because, like, again, I really do want to try and get a decent run going if I can, but my body's also kind of crapping out today just because today's been a long, really emotionally intensive day. And I mean, it's been a great day, but... Alright, Strider, you ready to see an amazingly bad prologue? Are you ready? Courage the Cowardly Dog was my show back in the day, I think. What was my top five? My top five was Dexter's Lab, Cow and Chicken, Johnny Bravo, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and Ed Ed Nettie. Like, that was my top five. Nope, I fucked up already. I'm so good at this game. That's okay. I'm super bad, so you can ask Strider. Strider, Strider, vouch for me. I'm bad. Dude, Strider, I'm terrible. Look at how bad that is. I could save 45 seconds there. 47, actually, but I'm going to save, like, 10 because I'm bad. I'm just so bad, I wear me out. 20, not bad, like 18, but whatever. Damn it. I'm so bad. I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Of course. I need to go back for that coin. Uh, yes. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God, dude. I'm dying. I'm absolute. I'm going to scream, dude. I'm going to scream if I fuck up these inputs one more time. I'm going to absolutely shriek. I am fucked right now, dude. I am so bad. Oi. Ugh, it's been a while, Strider. It has been a while. Come on. If I get into a fight, I'm gonna be pissed. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna s Why am I so bad? Dude, Strider, yes. Okay. Oh. And I am three coins short. I'm doing so Thank bad. Thank you. This might die after, this might die after chapter one. Oh. 
All right, so I need to go get some items now because I'm super bad. Okay, so now I'm only one coin down. Actually, I'll just go over here and try and find another coin. Good enough. That's uh, two coins, yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's go to Cooper's house. It's alright, I'll have a really shitty beginner game and then I'll do better later on or something. Let's see here. Two years ago, three friends of mine decided to leave school district in an interesting way. They committed grand theft auto theft, evading police, resisting arrest, underage driving, destruction of private property and public property from upstate New York to Maryland all the way, and they weren't even, uh, all three weren't even 17 and one girl was pregnant. Damn, dude. That was a roller coaster from start to finish. I gotta learn movement from you, Strider. You, you gotta, like, teach me. Teach me the pro strats to Paper Mario. Just let me learn from you, glorious Strider Senpai. Let me just touch your face. Yep, sounds about right. I did the same thing with my base set, Charizard. Alright, cool. Yeah, dude, I would love to learn better movement for this game, though, because if I can optimize my movement, I can shave off so much time. So, like, if I can do that, that would be great, Strader. Like, I would love to, lo I'd, uh, love to see that video. All right. All right, so I'm gonna keep trying to go through chapter one and we'll see where we're at. If I fuck up on chapter one too badly though, then I'm just gonna give. God, you don't level up till Koopa Bros Fortress. <sighs> okay. So Strider, what's the absolute optimized run you can get on this? That feeling when you optimize a room and save one second is so good. Dude, yes. It's so good because it feels so sharp and just on point, And you feel so wonderful about everything. So it's like, why wouldn't you do it? It's nothing but like a positive feeling when you manage to optimize a room and get your movement down on pat. Because not only does it look impressive, but like, it just feels good. Like you feel like you're moving fast. Come on, there we go, okay. Alright, if the route changed and got riskier, it could be faster though, but it's not worth the it's not worth it on a run this long. Ooh, baby. Gone. Managed to actually get past that one. I hate that guy. Hate this guy too. Both of those guys are absolute shitlords, dude. Alright, we in there. We're slow as hell. We're like two minutes behind, but whatever. See ya, Chiron. Be well, friend. 
All right, take care, Norfolk. Sleep well, friend. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. But yeah, so like, again, I want to get a better time on this. Like, I want to get that sub-5 super bad, so... Someday. You stabbed yourself? How do you accidentally stab yourself with a pencil? Like, what are you doing that's so intensive that you almost stab your- Actually, no. I am one to talk. I accidentally cut my finger open on a broadsword once, so I really have zero room to talk, I guess, so... There's that. Oh, get in there. Alright, let's go. Yeah, getting into the four hour just feels really good. All right, cool. All right, take care, Code. Be well, my friend. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful time in Sleepy Land. Wonderful time in Sleepy Time Land. Put a whole thing of glue in your hair in first grade. Dude, I've done that. When I was seven or so, my brother came over to my dad's house because my parents are divorced, and uh, he was just like, Hey, Zach, I got all these Pokemon tattoos. Let's give you sleeves and an entire back of Pokemon tattoos. And I'm like, yo, I love Pokemon. I think tattoos are kind of cool. Why wouldn't I do this? This seems like a great idea. So we took pallets, like the whole sheets of these fucking things, and we just absolutely fucking wrecked it. Like... We just put them all over my chest and my back, and I was covered head to toe in nothing but fucking Pokemon, and it was absolutely intense. And we showed my dad, and my dad absolutely lost it. He's like, Nicholas, what the fuck did you put on Zach? You go wash that shit off right now. Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, oh my god. They're temporary tattoos, dad. Oh no. That's fine. All right, cool. Fright Jar worked. It's a good Fright Jar. There it is. No, dude. Again? Unreal. I love it when you get the uh, the spare pal block here. It's so nice. You once ate chalk. You don't know why, though. Oh. That sounds fun. When I was little, I used to eat little rocks, like tiny little pebbles. And it was, uh... That was pretty fun. Alright, take care, Dylan Pone. Sleep well, friend. I hope you have a wo yeah, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Alright, cool. Alright, got them both. Now, I have a whole bunch of weird stories from when I was younger, though, just because, like, I had some interesting teachers growing up. Like, thinking about it, like, my upbringing, I had some really colorful teachers, then I had some teachers that were just terrible. Um, but I had some good teachers, too, and, like, I still have high school teachers that I think of fondly, and, like, I go back and visit from time to time, because they're just good people. Ooh, that sounds fun, Brian. That sounds... Ugh. God, that just sounds painful. Oh, God, getting gax stuck in your hair. Ooh. Ugh. I don't know. I've gotten gum stuck in my hair before when it was, like, this length, which I need to get cut, but... I've had, like, Gak get stuck, uh, not Gak, but Gum get stuck in my hair, and that is just, like, absolute hell, dude. Like, that is 
hell supreme. That is supreme hell. Smooth, that teacher sounds pretty metal. That sounds pretty fucking metal. Like, they broke the floor. They just stomped on it and we're like, I'm done. I already broke it. Alright. Alright. So we're almost done with, uh... We are almost done with this first area, which I'm really excited about. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, I think I might bail after chapter one, to be honest with you, even if I'm ahead here, because, like, I'm really tired and hungry, and the blood sugar headache's kind of getting to me now. Um, but I'm willing to compensate by starting earlier tomorrow, if you guys want. Like, I'm thinking about starting around noon tomorrow, instead of two. So, if you guys want, I'd be willing to compensate for that and then run for, like, 12 hours tomorrow. I'd be all about that. I at least want to finish Chapter 1, though, because Chapter 1's really fun for me. It's those later levels that just make me, like, groan with agony. Alright, so, my favorite part. Nope. Knew it. Absolutely knew it was gonna happen. Dude, I love Koopa Bros Fortress. I hate having to do shit like this, though. Like, I actually think Koopa Bros Fortress is one of my favorite levels. All right, let's keep it going. I really like Koopa Bros Fortress. I think it's relaxing and it in like its monotony and more importantly with how like static everything is. There's very little risk to it and I just really like it. Uh, but out of all of the levels, I think my favorite is always going to be Tubble Blubba's Castle, followed uh, by uh, Ice Palace, which I seldom get to because I'm a fucking loser. I just love this run in general. It's a fun run. Uh, this guy was picking on my friend during lunch hour where we all split up. Oops. Damn it. Uh, where we all split up and just chill at fireplaces in the woods. Okay, hold on. Uh, long story short, he goes to punch my friend in the face, and mind you, I'm 11, this dude is 15. I don't know what happened, but I ended up blocking the punch and grabbing his fist. Cool. Uh, the momentum and the angle resulted in his wrist snapping so far back that the bones broke and jetted out. <gasps> ah, no! Ooh. 